Hey everybody, this is Irv, and today I have a simple pirate baser with a piggyback escort, and depending on how you configure it, it is devastating for all levels from 18 up to 35. Again, you gotta learn how to fly them, and I'll show you how. Space Your basic sniping fleet. Broadswords, tridents, or even your new phone users' nexuses will work. New siege weapon, here's where you use it. Along with phased and, of course, strafe. Four or five works great. Three, eh, it's barely. And Zin 1 will fit. It all depends on your mix. This is what it's going to look like. Staying in sniping power, this is what you want. Deflector Siege 2 will fit. Phase versus Iridium is better. You could also use regenerative tools. This is a great setup for this. And if you find heavy resistance from projectiles, here's your mix. You gotta drop down with the Siege, but it will work. And by the way, you new phone users with the Nexus, here's your mix. Today's basic basic fleet is going to be just two broadswords with Siege 1 and three cargo gens with just plain cargo. No weapons, no nothing. And because it's level 24, I wanted sister fleet to be around the same level. So I picked a level 25 fleet. And it's within a level, but it's a fair FEF. Whether it wins or loses, it doesn't matter. It's just a big brother to my baser. Now, if any of you have seen my other videos on pirating, here's a trick I showed before. Pick a bookmark and send both your fleets to that bookmark. Your escort and your escortee. Your escortee is your baser, and your escort is going to be its big brother, your FEF fleet. I pick my FEF and tell it to escort my baser. However I tell my baser to go, it goes as one fleet. And here they are, as one fleet. First thing you want to do, you want to send your baser in, and you want to take your gens and send them right off screen. They're not going to be much help anyhow. Send your broads, your tridents, your nexus, whatever you end up using. And these are just siege one broads. And the first thing he's going to do is pick out the weapon mods. And as you can see, these are just energy weapons, so you can just stand off and just pick them off at random. And he's going to go straight in for the base. What he's also going to do is pick out the mods like the helium, your resources, your ant AM, and try to leave the mineral. He's not going to go for a full hundred or even try. He's just going to gut it out and take what resources he can. Because his cargo carries 967,000 or whatever, but hitting a base is five times, so it's almost five million. Uh, so you get a fat base at these levels. It's going to take a couple bases in that. But as you can see, he's just going in, picking out what he wants. And he is using phased and not the iridium magnets. They go a lot slower. It's sped up here, but they go a lot slower. But they do a lot more damage and penetrate in. But as far as judging... When you're prepping, this, you know, getting it close to 75%, it's a little tougher because when you get close, you realize you got three, four shots still heading in, which may do more damage than what you really want. So as he's just about finishing up here, he's just getting out what he needs. And remember, he has his big brother fleet, or his escort fleet, the FEF fleet versus fleet fight sitting on top of him. And nobody's attacked that, so that's still guarding his baser. He can send his baser home now, and if somebody detects him heading back to the wormhole and hits his fleet, they're going to hit his FEF, or the big brother. And in the meantime, the baser will leave. So now, as you can see, he has 5 million right there. His tanks are full. He went to hit another base. He's, oh, wait. A full. Yeah, I'll take it home. So he sent it home without looking first and realized, uh oh, there is somebody out there. And sure enough, they're going to hit him, which is great. We can demonstrate because then you just disband the baser. The baser continues on, goes home, 
while they're attacking the FVF. So you get all that resource, not just half. And you bring it home and look at this. The base is back. He has another Big Brother's fleet ready to go. Tags that up and he's good to go again. Now again, we take our baser fleet and we want it escorted by the Big Brother fleet. And make sure we click it right and say escort the fleet you want, which is the baser. Make sure that they are both highlighted. You'll see one has a white ship pointed up. The other one will have like a dark ship with an outline pointed up. The darker one is your escorted, or it should be your baser. So double check that before you send it out. Now, as you see, I headed to a planet just outside the warp gate to get to another one further on to be sneaky. This is how we get in if we're not noticed. And now, again, same thing, we send them in, and you can see we have a projectile on the way. So that's our first matter business. We have deflectors, so we are good against those, so we're protected. We set those up now. If you left click, it says get them. But then if you start right clicking strafing, it stays at angle, and both ships are pointed towards that mod, the weapon mod, so the angle of fire will miss them a little better. Once you get the CMs out of the way, then you can go in for the softer targets or the easier ones. I got me out the CMs and working your way into the bridge or the res mods and the AMs or whatever it is you do need. And staying out of gun range of the shorter weight range weapons, we just beat our way in. And notice you take your time, you're not getting any damage. And you can just rinse and repeat this as long as you have your VF fleet to back this up and they don't get this fleet. Or you have many fleets of this. That's why it worked out. You could use it with one broad, two broads, one trident, broad and trident. But again, make sure your strafes are the same so that they're all strafing at the same time. Otherwise, they start getting out of pattern and it becomes a mess. It really does. And another good reason uh, for bases to use iridium magnets is it speeds up the shots and it does make it harder but after enough practice I've been able to evade all of them well, even the fives so he's flipped out of that bait and he says oh man I didn't get enough so as he's heading back he saw another base on that planet he had stopped to on the way in he says you know I'm gonna hit this now this base is a little bit bigger I believe it was a level 27 for a level 24 fleet but again you can set it up and these will work all the way up to fives. So just pick out the projectiles first on your way in. And you can see this piece has a lot of projectiles. So he works his way up to this, right to the edge. And then he left clicks and says, attack this one. They both point. And then you hit the strafe. Now as you strafe, right and left, it's good to listen for your the gunfire. Because that gives you a big handle and the bolts are going to come just before they do. I do think so. And it gives me a little stop before I start seeing it coming out. We're trying to time. Okay, as it go fire now. Listen for the shot. Just before that, oops, you move it. So again, same thing. He gets all the long range weapons out of the way. Now the one he sends up top says, I'm going to get the soft weapon and I'm going to take this broad down here and I'm going to take out the MD down here and just use the stage. The other one just sits up there. So as he's dodging down here, getting out that last one, that other one's taking out that uh, energy weapon on the top. He's going to slowly work them in. The lower one got a shot right to the bridge. The upper one, it's going to take a couple mods on its way. And they're just going to go right straight to look. Not worrying about the bridge. They're going for all the resource mods. The AM mods. And they just what his stuff now the bridge of notice will take hits just exploding modules around it which is good this is something you take the bridge out without even firing a shot on the bridge now again there he is he's about to hit another one realized oh I'm full I'll head home this time he had looked ahead and nothing was in his way so he made it a free shot home and that repair from that one shot he got I think was a four minute repair. So again, instant, re instant repair of that fleet 
set it out, rinse, repeat. Hey, this is Irv. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope this was a big help for a lot of you out there. And again, set your own mixes, work your own patterns, but it's easy. It works. I like it. Have a good one, everyone. Later.